Got some N64 memory cards today. Uh, they're all, uh, got them all real cheap, uh, less than 10 bucks each, I believe. And then uh, a couple of them uh, weren't working initially after I gave them kind of a, uh, without taking them apart, I kind of gave them a quick scrub down and uh, couldn't get them to, couldn't get them to register. So I actually got those uh, replaced and got two more sent to me. So I'm pretty sure these will probably just need the two that are not functioning out of here. Uh, probably just need a battery replacement and I'll probably just go ahead and replace all the batteries on all of them but uh, what I want to do first is uh, take them apart so I can clean them properly in case there's some uh, kind of heavy uh, build up on the, on the pins that happens sometimes um, normally you can get away with just kind of swabbing it with it assembled but uh, if you got really heavy build up on there you need to get some something slightly abrasive on there either a fiberglass pen or polishing compound of some kind so I'll be taking these apart real quick and we'll take a look inside and I said uh, uh, I want to clean them first put them in uh, the memory part pack manager and see what the save files may be on there see if they work these all look pretty clean for the most part um, I did go ahead and take the fiberglass pen to them and just polish them up a little bit and you'll probably see um, yeah, just kind of the yeah, you know, but there's definitely no heavy buildup or anything. So I'm thinking it's kind of unlikely that there's a connection issue. It probably just the two dead ones probably just is a dead battery, and uh, not surprising. You know, they're uh, seven snap ninety seven October ninety seven. So it's, you know, batteries well past its service life, but I find a lot of them are still holding up. Let's see, what's the date on this one? A much smaller date. Looks like July 96. Unstamped stamped really lightly. And there's another 97. October 97 there's a what is that December 96 that fiberglass pen really does do a nice job I'll show you that thing here it's a really simple little little guy you can extend this out as you need and a really nice non uh, it is slightly abrasive but it's a uh, um, I think it's better to use the polishing compound. Uh, no chance of leaving any residual behind. It's just pure abrasion. And you can wipe off whatever dust and some rinse it off with alcohol. So I'm going to put these uh, back together. Um, probably won't put the screws in. And I will um, Yeah, I'll test them out, see if there's any data on them. Got Gauntlet fired up. Got the best memory pack manager. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Got something on that one. Blink takes up uh, 117 pages. Interesting. So that's that one. Okay, this one's got some top gear on it. Cool. There's the next one, another blank file or just two dash. Maybe the name of it. EXT, I don't know if that's like they don't name pages. I don't know. I don't know why it has one there, but thus far it's uh, looking like those are those packs were just had some kind of corrosion or something on there, some kind of coating. And the fourth controller pack. 
Look at that. One looks like all of them work. Then we got another blank file for 121. That's yeah, weird. I wish it was. Uh, on a lot of games, it, it tells you, but I guess um, other ones not. So, all four of these packs turned out to be good, so that's cool. Um, I may or may not put new batteries in them right now. I might just wait uh, until I need more memory packs, and then I'll know the battery's fresh from that point forward. So, um, yep, that's what I was doing today.